Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Rilla Rabah. I'm an oral maxillofacial surgery resident and today is episode number one of a series of videos I plan to release weekly with the most common questions that I get. I'm going to be answering these questions in this Q&A series and hopefully it's a way for me to be able to give you the answers to the most commonly asked questions as well as be able to provide a playlist of all of these answers that we can reference back because unfortunately a lot of times questions get lost in my um, DMs or in the comments and so I can't always get to all of the questions even though I try my best and so I'm hoping that this series is going to be a nice way for me to be able to um, have a conversation back and forth with all of you so if you do have questions make sure you follow me on Instagram at 15 blades um, make sure that you uh, answer a lot of the questions that I ask on my stories and you're commenting on a lot of my posts because that's the best way for me to see this and uh, you could also comment below on this video and let me know what kind of questions you want me to answer in future videos and so we'll just kind of keep this conversation going and it'll be a fun casual way for us to get to know each other and all of the different things that you may be asking that someone else is asking as well um, will have all of the same answers from me so without further ado let's get started with this first video which I'm going to answer a couple of questions that were directed um, about me and that way you guys can get to know me a little bit more question number one where were you born so I was born in Damascus Syria Damascus fun fact is the oldest city still in existence in the world and so um, I was really blessed to be born in Damascus I uh, so I consider myself Syrian um, I am an Arab American and um, unfortunately I didn't live in Syria for very long. I was there for just a couple of months after I was born. It's my place of birth and I consider my home country um, and we used to visit Syria every single summer but uh, I never really lived truly in Syria. Um, the next question is where did you grow up? Okay so this is fun because I was born in Syria um, but then shortly after my birth um, my parents immigrated to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates so I actually lived in Dubai up until I was nine years old so I spent a lot of my time in the Middle East and every summer we'd go back to Syria and visit my grandparents and so I have a really wonderful memories in Syria and I really hope that one day I'll get to go back there um, but I grew up in Dubai for most of my childhood and at the age of nine my parents decided to immigrate to the United States and so we landed in California I uh, moved to the Bay Area at the age of nine um, and so I am a Northern California girl woo woo, NorCal uh, way better than SoCal just saying to college at UC Berkeley in the Bay Area as well and so I spent most of my childhood there and then I moved to New York for dental school and now I'm in Boston for residency and so I got to live in a ton of really 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 cool um, cities and states and countries and so I'm really blessed I have a uh, rich background and I take pride in that I really you know I'm very Arab uh, for those of you that um, you know follow me on my Instagram you know that I love Arabic music Arabic food um, I speak Arabic hi um, so I'm very much into my Arab culture and it's an important part of who I am and it's an important part of my upbringing and I hope to incorporate it in my children's upbringing and so um, I love the culture it's beautiful the food is delicious um, so that's that's me and number three we are moving right along as you can see answering just a couple questions you guys is gonna take forever because I talk a lot um, what challenges did you face related to your Arab background this is a really interesting question because I think um, I have also been blessed that I've lived in places that um, had a lot of diversity and so California as you know is very very diverse especially the Bay Area is very very diverse and so and now my parents um, live in uh, a suburban part of Northern California and luckily I really didn't um, grow up 
feeling like I was being singled out for being um, ethnic, for being Arab. Only around 9-11, I was in, um, I had just started middle school, so that was very difficult. A time where um, there was a lot of negativity towards Muslims, and I am Muslim. And so I think it was a little bit more related to my religion than, than where I was from, but automatically everyone assumed every Arab is Muslim, and of course that's not the case. There are Arab Christians, um, there are Arab Jews, there are um, all sorts of different religions in the Middle East. The Middle East is extremely diverse with lots of languages, lots of dialects, lots of religions. And so absolutely not every single Arab is Muslim, although the majority of Arabs are Muslim. And so there was a lot of tension, um, you know, around the time of 9-11. Um, but personally, I didn't feel like I was singled out or attacked because I went to a wonderful um, school with wonderful teachers who made sure that there would be no bullying. And so I didn't necessarily face challenges um, during that time personally, but I did know a lot of um, things that were happening at the time. I think now, um, during the um, last few years with the Muslim ban and lots of different challenges like that, I felt like I, I was a lot more um, passionate and a lot and felt a lot more targeted um, as an Arab now um, than I did growing up. And I don't know if it was because I was oblivious or I just lived in an area where, you know, and there wasn't social media and you didn't really see as much on, on social media. And, and um, the last few years, I felt like we a little bit lost our um, our tolerance for diversity and religion and um, ethnicity and all of that. And so I think um, that part made me a little bit self-conscious in thinking that I have to constantly defend like any time fortunate um, violent event uh, took place somewhere out there and it was a Muslim person, I automatically just like went to, I have to defend my religion, which is, very unfortunate, um, but that's just how I felt the last few years. Really the biggest challenge that I've, I've had to deal with is constantly feeling like I have to defend my religion and try to convince people that it's a peaceful religion, try to convince people that I'm, you know, part of this wonderful religion and I hate that people have to think of it so, um, so violently because of the actions of a few select individuals that don't represent my religion. And so that was probably one of the challenges that I felt um, in the last couple of years. And it's interesting because the question is, what challenges do you face as an Arab? But I feel like my religion, being Muslim and being Arab, is so closely intertwined that when I think of being Arab, I think of being Muslim for myself, my identity, um, because it's so much part of my culture and traditions is my religion as well as my um, my country. And so lots of lots of different complicated feelings um, come out with this question. Um, and of course, as a minority female in a surgical specialty, you always feel like you have to, you know, um, fight against challenges like biases and stereotypes and, um, you know, people, uh, you know, thinking that maybe you don't fit this mold of a surgeon. Um, and so that's something that is in the back of my mind sometimes, you know, maybe you know, am I looked at differently because I'm a minority, but uh, I have chosen to, you know, speak out about that whenever I can, like on my social media platform, on Instagram, and like I am doing now. But aside from that, you know, I, I can't really think of specific um, targeted situations um, as an Arab, but, um, you know, I, I think overall it's this like feeling um, of being minority in America during the current political climate. So that's it, you guys. Three different questions that I was able to answer for you today. These videos are going to vary in length. They're going to vary in in, um, the type of questions that I'm answering they'll vary in mood um, I feel like I don't want us to end on like a uh, on a on a down mood I feel like that last question I was like oh you know but it's all good I feel like what we're always getting stronger and um, we are always learning and we're always becoming braver and so I think that those are all positives and so thank you so much for watching this video let me know what other questions you want me to answer in the comments below and on my Instagram and I will see you guys next week bye